Now we're going to roll up our sleeves and get to work on those chakras number 20. And those chakras are the signs of the lords of the seven rays and their initiation. If you look on the screen, you'll see your heart chakra. It has 12 petals. This is page five, number 20, number A. We're going to see on the screen the heart chakra and each of the seven chakras. And the next slide you're going to see is the violet fire burning through what appear to be rocks or clumps of wood. You have to imagine this at the cellular level of karma lodging in the cells and molecules and atoms of your being, flecks as flecks of dust or soot or crystallized substance that has a negative vibration. That is exactly how karma clogs our beings, our bodies, the earth, the water, the air. And that is why we get burdened and that's why our vibrations go down. The definition of vibration, by the way, is the rate of the spin of the electron around the atoms of your being. That's the truth, and that's what you'll read about in the first Keeper of the Flame lesson. So what happens is that the density of our consciousness, because it's God's light, we're misqualifying, it accumulates as fine dust or smog between those wide open spaces of the electrons. So they slow down, they can't pass through as easily, as easily. And the rate of that revolution of the electron around the nucleus determines your personal vibration. And the more you have light and the violet flame, the more you accelerate, the more you have energy, there is a new joy in your life because the electrons themselves are enjoying that cosmic spin you're giving them. So that substance that gets heavy between the electrons has been compared to molasses or asphalt hardened or to clumps of substance like on the screen. So if you look at the chakras on the chakra man, whom we'll put up now and you see on the very front of your booklet, see where those chakras are in your body. Where they are in your body means that if you have problems in that area of the body, you are dealing with the karma you have made on that ray which corresponds to that chakra. So if you have a problem, let's say a chest problem in the lungs, you would associate that with the heart chakra and the throat chakra. So you would look for the clearing of those two chakras and also a scientific application of diet, the most scientific and satisfactory diet that parallels that of the ancient Eastern adepts that we have given back to us today is the macrobiotic diet because it seeks to restore the balance of yin and yang or alpha and omega. Now that's how we practice it at the Royal Teton Ranch. It is practiced according to the disciplines of the Ascended Masters. And you will find that if you can restore balance in your physical body, the physical body and atoms can contain more light and therefore you have strength and balance physically to carry more light in your chakras. So this is a very physical path of self-mastery that we are walking under the ascended masters. So we're going to take number 20. We're going to say, I am a being of violet fire. I am the purity God desires three times between each of those lettered decrees. And if you see the order of the chakras, we're starting in the heart which is the center, where the central sun of our being. And we're creating a spiral. The spiral goes through the throat, which is the second chakra, the solar plexus, the third eye, the seat of the soul, the crown, and we arrive at the base chakra of the Divine Mother, where we are ready to give the Bija mantras, our seed syllables, for the raising of that sacred fire. So each time we do it, we'll see the pure chakra and its petals. Just for your information, the heart has 12, the throat 16, the solar plexus 10, the third eye 96, the seat of the soul 6, the crown 972, and the base 4. Now the number of petals to the chakra determine its vibration and therefore the plane of heaven that it corresponds to. 
So the very base of the spine has the fewest petals because it relates closest to the physical octave, because it is the Divine Mother's light and life force that sustains our very physical bodies. So as you get higher and you get 972 petals, which is the thousand petal lotus, you really have a tremendously high pulsating frequency that can be in that crown chakra. So here we go. Look at the chakras, look at the violet flame, and visualize it blazing through those organs and cells that are near that place in your body. Beloved mighty I am presence, beloved holy Christ self, beloved Saint Germain and beloved Zadkiel, come forth now in the victory of the God flame. Seal us in the violet flame, purge and purify us. Consume now all that is less than our Christ perfection, transmute that energy and bless all life by its purity, send it forth to our great causal body of love as the harvest of our good works on earth. Therefore we say together, I am a being of violet fire, I am the purity God desires. I am a being of violet fire, I am the purity God desires. I am a being of violet fire, I am the purity God desires. My heart is a chakra of violet fire. My heart is the purity God desires. My heart is a chakra of violet fire. My heart is the purity God desires. My heart is a chakra of violet fire. My heart is the purity God desires. I am a being of violet fire. I am the purity God desires. I am a being of violet fire. I am the purity God desires. I am a being of violet fire. I am the purity God desires. My throat chakra is a wheel of violet fire. My throat chakra is the purity God desires. My throat chakra is a wheel of violet fire. My throat chakra is the purity God desires. My throat chakra is a wheel of violet fire. My throat chakra is the purity God desires. I am a being of violet fire. I am the purity God desires. I am a being of violet fire. I am the purity God desires. I am a being of violet fire. I am the purity God desires. My solar plexus is a sun of violet fire. My solar plexus is the purity God desires. My solar plexus is a sun of violet fire. My solar plexus is a purity God desires. My solar plexus is a sun of violet fire. My solar plexus is the purity God desires. I am a being of violet fire. I am the purity God desires. I am a being of violet fire. I am the purity God desires. I am a being of violet fire. I am the purity God desires. My third eye is a center of violet fire. My third eye is the purity God desires. My third eye is a center of violet fire. My third eye is the purity God desires. My third eye is a center of violet fire. My third eye is the purity God desires. I am a being of violet fire. I am the purity God desires. I am a being of violet fire. I am the purity God desires. I am a being of violet fire. I am the purity God desires. My soul chakra is a sphere of violet fire. My soul is the purity God desires. My soul chakra is a sphere of violet fire. My soul is the purity God desires. My soul chakra is a sphere of violet fire. My soul is the purity God desires. I am a being of violet fire. I am the purity God desires. I am a being of violet fire, I am the purity God desires. I am a being of violet fire, I am the purity God desires. My crown chakra is a lotus of violet fire. My crown chakra is the purity God desires. My crown chakra is a lotus of violet fire. My crown chakra is the purity God desires. My crown chakra is a lotus of violet fire. My crown chakra is the purity God desires. I am a being of violet fire. I am the purity God desires. I am a being of violet fire. I am the purity God desires. I am a being of violet fire. I am the purity God desires. My base chakra is a fount of violet fire. My base chakra is the purity God desires. My base chakra is a fount of violet fire. 
My base chakra is purity that desires. My base chakra is a fountain of violet fire. My base chakra is the purity God desires. I am a being of violet fire. I am the purity God desires. I am a being of violet fire. I am the purity God desires. I am a being of violet fire. I am the purity God desires. I am a being of violet fire. I am the purity God desires. I am a being of violet fire. I am the purity God desires. I am a being of violet fire. I am the purity God desires. I am a being of violet fire. I am the purity God desires. I am a being of violet fire. You can keep ex accelerating that decree until you can't even hear the words anymore. And it has something to do with the acceleration of light in you. The preceding lecture was given by Elizabeth Clare Prophet, world-renowned author and spiritual teacher. The Summit Lighthouse is an international spiritual organization dedicated to universal enlightenment. Founded in 1958, the Summit Lighthouse has been a beacon of truth to thousands worldwide and a leader in New Thought spirituality. The preceding program has been brought to you by the Summit Lighthouse. For more information, call 1-800-245-5445 or visit our website at www.tsl.org. Outside the USA, call 406-848-9500 or write to the Summit Lighthouse, 63 Summit Way, Gardner, Montana, 59030, USA.